Greetings everyone from Eccentric Engineer. Today is a big day. We are testing the production run of the Nathan 1918A non-lifting injectors. And uh, it's been going really well. This has been a really uh, satisfying project. All the production went very smoothly. Even the really challenging stuff went really well. I had relatively good yield on the castings. And testing is going great. I uh, couldn't be happier. Uh, if you've ordered one, uh, they'll be going out this afternoon, if not tomorrow morning. And uh, if you haven't ordered one yet and you want one, I should have some uh, left over. So uh, I want to show you some things on this. We're at about 150 PSI. Let's pull, pull the boiler down. Uh, even though this is a non-lifting injector, it can still lift. Um, I don't recommend installing these high up in a lifting position because people will probably make fun of you. But uh, because it still has that lifting design, it'll be super reliable when it's down below the cab. And uh, you know, if something interrupts it, it can, it can pretty easily restart. As you've come to expect from eccentric engineers injectors, uh, it has a pretty wide range of adjustment. Um, so when it starts dripping, it's it's only maybe not even a quarter turn from closed and then I can go wide open. This is at around 140, 145 PSI now. Uh, it has a water filter built in here and a steam filter built in here. Um, so anything that would be big enough to clog the injector will get caught in those two filters. And uh, the, these spanner nuts I made just for testing so I could quickly get the injectors on and off. Um, they would have come with flanges, but if you want spanner nuts, I do have a few extra. Um, not very many though, very limited number of those. Um, I guess that's it. I'm really happy with these and uh, finished them just in time for people's orders to get to them by Christmas. And uh, I think uh, you'll be really happy to have these on your locomotive. And the, by the way, this is a, a large PM research handle, which does loosely fit. Uh, I'll have some clevises, or universals rather, um, early January. I'm going to take the waxes to the foundry tomorrow. And uh, they'll, um, I'll make them in a couple different brooch sizes, so they'll also fit PM research and super scale valves. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.